pastry can sometimes be a little bit daunting to make, but to be honest, if you've got the right equipment, right measurements, pastry can be the simplest thing to do at home. And Naomi, you're going to show us the best way to do it using the right equipment. Absolutely. I thought today I would make you a goat's cheese and leek tart using a buttery short crust pastry that you make in the food processor and you'd be surprised how easy it is to make it. And so many people are daunted by um, pastry yeah. and, and really think I can't do it. I can't. Yep. We'll show you how quick and easy All it is. Alright, well let's crack on and okay. let's do it straight away. If you could cut the butter up yeah. and I need 135 grams just into a, um, a dice would be perfect. Great. I'll do that. So I'll just take the lid off. Uh, and I've got 250 grams of just plain flour. So I'll pop it into the food processor. So with pastry, number one rule is cold butter. Cold butter, I've always absolutely. Been taught that. So 130, about that. Yep, that looks good. And cut into cubes to make it easier. Yeah, just a rough chop because we've got um, we've got four blades in this food processor, so it's going to chop it down really, really oh, okay. quickly. Okay, great. Well, that saves me from chopping. Whack that straight in. Pop those in. So we'll process the flour and the butter first, mm -hmm. uh, and get it into a nice crumb, and then we'll add some egg and a bit of ice water. Okay. So pop the lid on. Just press the start button. Okay, turn that off so you can see we've got nice little nice crumbles crumb. happening. Mm. Now we need um, some water and one egg. One so egg. you can pop the egg in while it's going. So oh, we'll just great. press the start button. And that's it. Once you see the, all the pastry come up into a nice little clump all together, then our pastry's done. Perfect. So and it is, it just needs just a touch of water to bring it all together because the egg and the butter will do most of the work. Absolutely. Sometimes you may need a little bit of extra yeah. water, so it's really just, exactly. um, you know, just depends. So it is a very buttery short mixture if you have a feel of that. It's very soft. So you just lightly need that. Okay. It's nice and smooth. It's beautiful, isn't it? isn't it? So we just need a little bit of plastic wrap. And we'll just roll it into a disc. Now, the reason why we put it into a disc is because when we roll it out into the pastry tray later, it's easier if it's already in the round. Of course. So that goes straight into the fridge? Yep, so we'll rest this for about 20 minutes. So the reason why we rest it in the fridge is just to get the butter a little bit harder. Because it is in the food processor, it doesn't need as long as you would normally put in it because we haven't had to work it all by exactly. hand and everything. So just 20 minutes and then we'll roll it. Great. Put it in the fridge for you. Okay. So we're going to make the filling now. Mm -hmm. So show you how quick and easy it is and we don't need to spend so much time chopping the mm -hmm. leeks because watch what we're going to do. I'll just cut the ends off just to trim them and that is the only chopping we'll need. Great. So this is a variable slicer so I'm just going to um, I'm just going to adjust it just to the so thickness good. that you want. So thin depending on yep. how thin or thick you want it. So we'll pop that into the processor. I'll tell you what, when you've got a lot of leeks to chop, this would make such a difference. I think you're going to be surprised at how fast it is. Okay, pop that on. Oh, how good's that? So <laughs> easy. Imagine that saves that. three minutes there. How good Fantastic, is that? huh? And everything's chopped to perfection too. Absolutely, so nice. nice even slices, mm -hmm. so you don't need to adjust that. So you can mm. have a look. look perfect, that. perfect rounds. Yep. Nice. So we're going to just sauté these off in a really, like a medium heat. We don't want to have any um, browning happen with the leeks, so we need about 80 grams of butter. Mm -hmm. 80 grams of butter. And I like to put a little bit of oil in. Yeah, um, especially at the beginning, you yeah. don't want it to burn, do yeah, you? Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. And it just means you don't need to add as much butter in if you don't want to, but oh, um, I, like I love butter. A bit of butter. <laughs> Match made in heaven, um, leeks and butter. So we've had it resting for that 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. um, I just need a couple of sheets of baking paper. Yes, some baking paper here. So you know when it's ready, you, we say 20 minutes, it's when the, the butter has started to, to harden just a little bit. Yeah, but you still, don't want it too hard. Yeah, so then it won't be, it'll be too hard to But you out. can do this in advance. Okay, so, so I love this little trick, two pieces of paper. Yep, and that way you don't need to add any extra flour because we want the pastry to stay nice and short. And you can even use like a freezer 
plastic wrap and that then you won't get yeah, mm -hmm. that's a really great idea that's too. I, I like using that because yeah. you'll see once we get it out to a thickness you'll get a little bit of scrunchy and it'll happen on the bottom so we won't need to worry about that okay placing in the leeks in. leeks in so we're just going to cook those off just enough to soften them so this should take about, what do you say, about 15, I'd yeah, say 10, 15? I'd, I'd say about 10 minutes, yeah. absolutely. I love this pastry recipe. It's it just seems forgiving. so, it's, it's exactly right. It is forgiving because yeah. it's just nice and, and soft. Yeah. The paper works as your um, little friend to help you adjust it. So you just line that in there, lift the paper up, tucking it in as you go around. All right, so we just need to trim this down. Mm -hmm. And right, while you're doing that, I'll keep an eye on these leeks. It's going to take another five, ten minutes. So that'll go into a preheated oven, 180 degrees for ten minutes. And then we'll take the rice and the baking paper out and another five minutes and right. then we'll go back in. Soft, aren't they? They're lovely. Perfect. Um, so move those around. Oh, nice piece of the goat cheese. They'll fight for the goat's cheese otherwise. Oh, I love it. Okay. okay, so I'll just crumble that a little bit more. That gets poured in. Fantastic. We'll just pop that in the oven. So for how long now? For about, about half an hour. Half an hour. And that's it. Oh, is it? Mm.